Adult Swim Games is releasing a game called Super Puzzle Platformer Deluxe on Steam later this week, and you can get to the Steam store page for this game via a link in the video description, and there you can find a list of the game's features, you can find the screenshots and videos that you've come to expect from a Steam store page, as well as the game's price and when it's going to be released later this week. So you got puzzle games, like Bejeweled and Tetris, and you've got platformer games like Super Meat Boy and Mega Man, and Super Puzzle Platformer looks to blend these genres together. But it doesn't really blend these genres together so much as it takes them and it kind of just smashes them together to make Super Puzzle Platformer Deluxe. And this is a good thing. It's kind of difficult to explain without actually showing you the gameplay. So let's get right into that. I'm going to go into the main menu, hit play, go to single play for the single player game. And it's key to know that what you're seeing here is a build that has everything already unlocked. When you buy this game, you're going to need to unlock the new outfits that you want to play as. You're going to need to unlock the stages as you progress through the game, unlock the challenges, and so on and so forth. There's a lot of different modes, a lot of different things that you can try and play out in this game. As you can see here, each outfit, which is already unlocked here, but you will only start with this first cape outfit whenever you purchase the game. I believe that's the only one you start with. Each outfit has its own set of stats. You can see over there on the right side, we've got jump, power, speed, and a special ability. Each outfit has its own settings, has its own stats, and its own special ability. So we can see here that the cape guy, the cape outfit, has, you know, average jump, average power, a little bit above average speed, and its slow fall ability enables it to slowly glide down from a jump by continuing to hold the jump button. Whereas the second outfit, the ninja outfit, has higher jump and maximum speed capability, making it more mobile, but less power so it doesn't deal quite as much damage. But it's got a double jump ability to fit with that theme of making the ninja outfit more mobile than the other outfits in this game, such as the original and uh, default cape outfit. So I'm going to go in with the cape outfit to start. I want to show you guys a few of these outfits, a few of the stages, and that's pretty much about it. I want you guys to get a gist. I want you guys to get the general feel for what this game plays like. It's a puzzle game in which you play as a platform character within the puzzle. So you're playing as if you were playing as Mega Man inside of a Tetris board. It, it's kind of difficult to explain. Let me just let me just jump into the game. So here we have our first stage, Troublesome Tech. I'm going to select that. The game's also got some pretty good music. Now, like any good puzzle game, or any good game really, the concept is pretty easy to understand. It's, uh, you see blocks drop, you shoot them, right? So whenever blocks of the same color drop on top of each other and you have a contiguous section here, you can shoot one block and knock out that contiguous section. You want to be careful not to knock out the floor underneath you, though. So you need to be careful so you don't fall on spikes. You've also got to watch out for blocks falling from above. So you want to play to the outfit that you're playing as. You want to play to that outfit's strengths. See right there, I could have shot, the, I could have knocked the floor out from underneath myself, and that would have been a very bad game. Would have been game over right there. Now you notice my score is increasing as I destroy blocks, and I also have a power bar up in the top left. There's a there's a bonus chest that I can collect. That power bar fills up to give me additional power levels. I'm now power level two. You can see up there, and I can't open this chest in case you're wondering until there's a block that connects to it, like this. So I destroyed that blue block that was connecting to that chest, and that opens up the chest, which gives me access to a lot of coins, and an invincibility star if I can get it, which makes you invincible, so you can even stand, so do things like even stand on these spikes and be perfectly fine. Invincibility lasts a decent amount of time, but you don't want to be overzealous about it and wipe out the entire floor underneath you as a result. You want to be careful. Notice how I use the slow fall ability here to keep myself alive. There's another invincibility star. I want it, but I can't reach it. The ninja would have been able to. So the music changed around a bit. And we'll begin picking up. So you can get the uh, the gist of this. This is actually really cool. This is a puzzle game. I, I personally have never played a puzzle game quite like this. I don't know if you have. There may very well be a game like this out there already, but I, I don't know of any. And this is actually really fun because not only are you trying to solve puzzles and trying to increase your score by knocking out large pieces of the puzzle on the board, the way you would in most puzzle games. Oh... The knockback of the gun, the recoil of gun of the gun actually pushed me off the edge. Not only are you playing a puzzle game and trying to do things like remove pieces from the board to gain points, but you're also playing a platformer at the same time, which is actually, to me, I find it quite fun. So, you have a scoreboard here, and you can see here I'm listed as 6th, 8th, and 10th on the local scoreboard. If you press right, you do have a global scoreboard 
that it's going to list everybody, so everybody's going to be pitted up against one another for the high score in the full version of the game. Again, this is uh, a version of the game that has everything unlocked already, and it doesn't have global high scores, but on this screen you will be able to see the global high scores. And of course you can see your stats for this particular stage. So we'll press start. To get started again, it throws you right back into the stage so you can try again. And the main objective as you play through the game is to collect gems. And you collect gems just by doing well in the stage. But before I go on, I'm going to go ahead and exit to the main menu. I'm going to show you another outfit. Let's say you'd played through the game for a little bit. You've unlocked another outfit. In this case, it would be the ninja outfit. I actually really like this one. We're going to play the same stage. What you want to do is you want to try and collect... See those gems up in the top right? It says best four. That's the most I've collected in one run on this stage. And if we'll notice stage two here, War of the Woods, if I move my cursor over to the right, you can see here this one says three out of six gems. That means to progress from this stage to the next stage, I need to collect three more gems in this stage to move on. I don't necessarily know if that means you have to collect six all in one go, or just six total in this stage. I hadn't really cleared that up quite yet, but it's key to know that you will be collecting gems to move on to the next stage. So back to stage one, because I've already completed stage one personally, it removes the whole you have this many and you need this many indicator, and instead just tells you what your best run is for that stage. That way you know you've beaten the stage and you can keep track of your score. So we're going on to the first stage anyway. This time is a different outfit. We can see the increased mobility of the ninja outfit here. I don't have a slow fall anymore because I don't have the cape, but you can see that the ninja is actually a lot faster. But his attacks are also a lot weaker, so you've got to take that into account. So you're trading off power for mobility, and that in turn drastically changes how you play the game. Because you can't do a slow fall, you can't make long distance jumps anymore the way you could with the cape. Um, and you're actually relying more heavily on picking up these coins sooner to increase your attack power by reaching power level 2 as the ninja outfit, like so. Grabbing these chests is also very important as any outfit, but I feel it's particularly important as outfit level 2 so that you can increase your attack power sooner so that you can get to the point where you're dealing enough damage to actually clear up portions of the puzzle. So now we've got that star up there. Pick that up. Now that I'm invincible, I don't have a whole lot to worry about. Now, the temptation is to uh, knock out as much as you can when you have the star, but that may not be a very good idea, because remember, if you knock, remember, if you knock out too much of the floor, then you won't have anything to stand on, and all that will be down there are spikes for you. We can see here obstacles begin to pop up, little challenges, little things that you have to worry about, like falling ceilings. Now, my increased mobility enables me to just jump right out of these holes. If you do take damage when you're at a higher power level than power level 1, you will go down. I just picked up one of those large gems, and I did that just by performing well at the puzzle. That's how you that's how you pick up those gems. You just have to do well on the puzzle. I gotta say, commentating this game is a little more difficult than I thought it would be. I mean, I commentated Super House of Dead Ninjas very easily, and that was, well, fairly easily, I should say, and that was a very fast-paced game, but this one... I don't know, this one's fast-paced in a different way. There's a whole lot that you need to consider when playing this game if you want to play it well. So like I said, easy to learn, difficult to master. And of course, everyone's going to have their own playstyle when it comes to a game like this. And unlocking the type of outfit that you want based on its stats and what its abilities are is probably vital so that you can play the game in a way that suits your style. Like, as you can see here, the ninja is actually... The ninja suits my style pretty well, because I like fast, mobile champions and characters and outfits, in this case, in any game that I play. I just picked up another gem. We're going for a higher score than four gems here. That's my goal right now. You want to keep your level high. Oh, that was good. And you want to keep destroying blocks, because you collect gems based on how many blocks you destroy. And the higher your power level, the fewer blocks you need to destroy before a gem appears. So you gotta keep that in mind. Now I'm purposely not destroying that that green backwards L there. Well, it was a backwards L, so more connected to it. I was purposely not destroying that, because I wanted to make sure there was a floor beneath me. There we go, there's another gem. We're not doing too bad this time around. Now I do want to show you another stage. <laughs> that was a good jump between those falling blocks. 
if I might pat myself on the back there. <laughs> okay, if I destroy that, there will be no ground. I can destroy the red just fine. Now I can destroy the green! Ooh. Ow, taking too much damage. It's okay to destroy this as long as I have the green block over there that I can jump on later. There's another gem. Pick that up. I think we're doing fairly well at this particular stage. Now, this game does have good music. Music is important in a game. Good music is important in a game, I think. Now, this song isn't necessarily my favorite. I like the level 2 song. I haven't heard many of the other songs, though, to be honest. I haven't played too many of the stages. Even though... Oh! Oh! What was I doing? What was I thinking jumping on that? So, as you can see, the mobility actually really helps me out. I'm placed fifth at this particular point. Man, getting 20,000 points? That's gotta be crazy. <laughs> It'd be fun, though. Alright, so, let me jump into the second stage. Or, yeah, let me jump into the second stage and choose another outfit so you guys can get a feel for that. Let's see, which one of these do we want to use? I don't really like this jump pack guy because his speed is really low, as you can see down there. I mean, he's got really high jump because he's got a jetpack, obviously. Uh, but his speed is really low, and I don't really like slow anything, honestly, as far as champions and things like that are concerned. This guy is pretty cool. This guy's got a fast attack. He's melee. But this guy's also really cool because he's got rockets. And I do love me some explosives, but he doesn't have very good jump capability. But once he reaches level 2, he can start destroying things left and right with his rockets, and that's actually pretty fun. But I'm going to play the little melee guy, because he's kind of neat. Now, I just want you to listen to the music here in War of the Woods. I tend to like... Uh, I, I do like this song. And the playstyle of this particular outfit. So, let's just chill out and experience the game for this particular run. Oh, I punched that saw and got taken out that way. I was just getting into the groove. As you can tell there, I kind of like that little melee guy because his punches are swift and the sound that they make goes along so well with the music. I, I find that pleasing to do while I'm listening to that song. Just punching along to the tune is actually really fun to me. I don't know why. That's just one of those little things that you experience in games that just brings you that, that little bit of joy that adds on to the experience that you're already having. I really like that kind of thing. So anyway, as I said, this game is being released by Adult Swim Games. I would show you more, but a lot of this is stuff that you should unlock whenever you play the game. So I'm going to leave a lot of this in the dark on purpose so that you guys can experience that for yourselves. Um, there are other modes that you can play, such as multiplay. It's key to mention, though, that multiplay is local only. Let me go ahead and hit this, and you guys can see what I'm talking about. You can see here, I have the blue frame here, and I'm moving that around. I can select my outfit, and somebody near me, I'm using the keyboard now, could select a different, uh, a different character, or a different outfit, and we could play in a heads-up style of play on the same screen. 
Which kind of, you know, is pretty classic. You don't see that a whole lot these days anymore. So it's actually a pretty good idea. I like that. But there is no online play. Mm, I kind of wish that there were. Because it kind of just makes sense. The game being released on Steam and all. There's access to Steam play. Maybe that will be released in an update. But, you know, there's really no way for us to know. I just think it would be a good idea to have online multiplayer. It would be really fun so that you can play with your friends. I mean, it seems... It seems like a good fit, is all I'm saying. So let's go ahead and back out. There's multiplayer there. There's also a challenges mode that you can play. And again, these are challenges that you unlock as you play the game. These are all already unlocked in this particular build. Um, let me give you an idea of what they're like. I'm going to play the first one, and only the first one. It starts you off as a little ninja guy. You don't get to choose who you play as here. At least I don't think you do. I didn't, obviously. And these challenges are puzzles in and of themselves. What do I do? Whoa. Apparently I have to survive 15 more seconds. Oops, I landed on the spikes. I'm going to try that one more time. I haven't been able to solve this one. I've played it a few times. It's probably like my fifth or sixth, maybe seventh. I don't know. I'm going to say fifth. It's probably like my fifth time. Maybe my fourth. <laughs> if you can't tell right now, I can't tell how many times I've played this. This challenge. But this part gets me. I don't understand where to go from here. See, I mean, what do I do? Where do I jump at that point? I don't, I don't understand it. And I can't choose which outfit I'm using, so I don't know. That's one of those things that, you know, it's a puzzle game. You have to try and solve it. In any case, you can try challenges again and again until eventually you do beat them. And I'm pretty sure that once you do beat them, you unlock achievements or uh, new things in the game. I don't know. I don't know what the reward is for completing challenges if the reward is not completing the challenge in and of itself. So, there's that. Something for you guys to explore if this if this game does interest you. Once again, the game is going to be available on Steam later this week. And if you're watching this at a later date than the video is uploaded, then obviously the game is probably already released. The link to the store page, once again, is in the video description. So that will link you over to Steam where they have the store page for this game. Go check that out. See if you want to get into this game. I find it to be a fun little mix of a puzzle game and platformer style gameplay. So there you have it. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Thanks a lot for watching, and I'll see you next time.